Why do I have to go on a risk of seat? Mommy, can I just use a seatbelt in the car? Well, Jeffrey, let's see. This is Jeffrey. He's 52 and a half inches tall. He's seven and a half years old. In most states, he's able to ride in just a seat belt according to the law. But let's see how he fits. Now, as you can see, even though he's seven and a half years old, 52 and a half inches tall, when he sits up straight, sit up straight, Jeffrey. Scoot your butt all the way back. It is. His knees do not hit the edge of the seat. So, in order to make himself comfortable, Jeffrey, is that comfortable for your knees? No. How would you, show me how you would make yourself comfortable. No, 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 without unbuckling. How would you make yourself uncom How would you make yourself comfortable sitting like that? What would you do to make yourself comfortable? And see how he's slouching? All right, sit up straight. Now, even sitting up straight, you can see the belt is not on his thighs or on his hips where it should be, but it's on this soft tummy. In a crash, if the belt is on the soft tummy, it's going to push all the organs up into his chest. He's going to be very injured. Now, even though I have an adjustable shoulder belt and it's all the way down, you can see that the shoulder belt here is on Jeffrey's neck. Now that's gonna, not going to be very comfortable. No. What would you do to make it more comfortable? Um. Yeah, most kids would... Here. Put your arm through. Most kids, to make themselves more comfortable if they don't fit a seatbelt properly, will put the shoulder belt behind them. I had to help Jeffrey because he knows better than to do that, but most kids don't. Or, put your arm back through. Lift up your arm. Again, he's never tried this because he doesn't ride like this. Or they'll put it under their arm like that, and that's not safe either because that's just basically riding in just the lap belt. And they need the shoulder belt to stop their upper body in a crash. And you have to use a booster seat. Well. Alright. And then this is Jeffrey how he normally rides in the car. In a booster seat. <laughs> With the booster seat, his shoulder belt doesn't touch his neck and it's not falling off of his shoulder. It's right on in the middle of the shoulder. And I can actually move the shoulder belt all the way up and it still hits him correctly. But I usually leave it. Hold this, Jeffrey. Okay, there it goes. I usually leave it all the way down just because it touches the shoulder a little better. And it crosses the center of the chest, and you'll notice that the lap belt in the booster seat is on his thighs and touching his hips. That's perfect fit. And the booster with the booster seat, his knees are able to bend at the edge of the booster seat, so he's very comfortable like this, and he's not going to slouch, and he's not going to move the shoulder belt behind him or under his arm. He's very comfortable. And this is how he should ride until he's four foot nine inches tall. So even though he's almost eight years old, he's going to need to be in a booster seat for another couple of years. And this is why kids need to use a booster seat. And this is Damien. He is nine and a half years old, but he's very big for his age because he is already four foot ten and one half inches. Most nine-year-olds are, are barely four foot nine, if they're even that. 
he is over the 100th percentile for height. But as you can see, because he is over four foot nine, his knees bend naturally at the edge of the seat, even though he's sitting up straight. Excuse me. The lap belt hits him at the hips and touches his thighs, making for a good fit. And the shoulder belt, even if I push it all the way up, the shoulder belt is not on his neck. It's barely touching it at the highest level, but I can adjust it. But see how high that is to his shoulder, so that's understandable. It's right in the middle of his shoulder where it should be. I'm going to adjust that back down. I normally keep it at the lowest setting because that's about the same as in a sedan. And it crosses right in the middle of the shoulder and across his chest. So he is big enough to use just a seatbelt, but his brother, who is more typical size for his age, will probably be in that booster until he's about nine and a half or ten years old, when he's four foot nine inches. And another important part is Damien can stay this in this position the entire trip, even when he's sleeping. So maturity and age has a lot to do with it too, but most height and no we should not recline the seat see a lot of people let their kids recline the seat and Damien just reclined the seat to show you guys but see when you recline the seat the seat belt isn't touching the shoulder anymore and in a crash when the belt locks here the child would still move well maybe not that much yeah, if the belt would lock here the child would still be able to move and their whiplash would be a lot worse